In profitability analysis reports, we can create a hierarchy for any profitability characteristic to meet our reporting needs. For example, in my company that produces tables and chairs, I have categorized my products into furniture. And then if you go inside, I have chairs, tables, and raw materials. Under chairs, I have some materials that I assigned. Under tables, I have other materials. Raw materials, I have others, and so on. This is a master data that any user can create in the system without needing any configuration and it doesn't have any impact on any other module in the system. So it is very useful and it's very easy to do. Now I will show you how to create a characteristic hierarchy and I will show you the impact of this on our profitability reports. To create a characteristic hierarchy, let's open a new menu, go to accounting, Controlling, Profitability Analysis, Master Data, Characteristic Values, Define Characteristic Hierarchy. If this is the first time you open this transaction, SAP will ask you to insert the operating concern you want to use. I have the operating concern already saved in my user because I use it a lot. So I went directly into the screen. On the left side, I have all the characteristics available in my operating concern. And on the right side, I can choose a hierarchy, create, change, display, and delete. So for example, if I go to product and I select it, then here I can see the available hierarchies. I only have one hierarchy, which is products by category. And this is the one you saw in the report now. So if I open this one and then I click on change, here is the categorization. Here is the hierarchy that we just saw in the report, furniture, chairs, tables, raw materials, and then I can assign materials inside. I will copy this one and create another hierarchy. To do this, I insert the hierarchy here and then click on copy. Here I will insert the new hierarchy. So let's say it will be called P02, enter, and then create change. Now I will edit this hierarchy. Let's say I'm going to remove the raw material group. I can select it from here and then click on delete. All selected entries and any entries dependent on these will be deleted. This will only impact the current characteristic hierarchy. It has no impact at all in anything on the system. So feel free to do any categorization you want. I will remove it from here. And let's say I want to add another group under furniture. So I will click on furniture. I will select and then click on lower level. I created a subgroup. So let's say custom. And then under custom, I will give it a name, custom materials. And then I will select the group and add a lower level. Now I can assign another group or I can assign a, the products. So I will assign the raw materials here. I can say RM01. I can also assign many materials at the same time. To do this, I will select RM01 and then go to edit, create range, same level. I want to insert from RM01 until RM100, for example. Enter. And SAP automatically inserted all the materials existing within this range. I have RM01, 2, 9, and so on. Now I will also create another group. Let's say next to chairs, same level. This one I will call special or anything, special chairs. And then let's say special chairs. And I will remove some of the materials from here, TG0011 and 12, for example, I will remove them. And I will assign them under special. And TG0012. Now you understand how to use this screen. You can take your time to try the different controls. Once you are done, click on save. You can also change the attributes of the characteristic hierarchy by going to go to attributes. Here we have the description. So I will change this one to product by special category. Special. Save. Now let's go back to our profitability report and I will click on product. Then click on this button to choose a hierarchy. Hierarchy selection. Now I have products by category. This is the first one and I have the new one products by special. So if I choose this one, okay. And SAB has changed the display of the products to our new characteristic hierarchy. You can see that here we have the numbers for every characteristic hierarchy node. 
this is very useful now I can also choose any of these nodes so I will choose chairs for example and then if I go to other characteristics like customer these are the customers related only to the group that I selected you can change these characteristic hierarchy groups as you want based on your reporting requirement I hope you found this video useful don't forget to check the other videos in the playlist here or the next video from here you can also find other recommended videos up there thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon